Alrighty folks, what's happening? Drew's farming life back again today with another video of some plowing. I'm in the grass field now, but I think we're gonna have to move back to the hill because Dad is digging out the drain over there. So yet again another hold up. So I'll get to the steeper part of the field. I dropped my specs there. And uh, I'll show you what I'm doing in here. I don't have that long left in here till I match up with Dad's drains just there. Um, so, the uh, next thing I'll be in that steep field over there, getting the last of it done. Getting to the steepest part. I've had to do all this first because it was dry enough. It's, it was a wee bit wet on the surface, but because it's grass, you get a bit more grip rather than ripping up the stubbles. But right up here at the top, it does get a bit wetter because you're right next to the neighbour's moor and, well, you can see for yourself <laughs> what's happened. I'm basically ploughing every time I turn up here. Um, just, just probably needing a drain across the top of it, but I don't think we're allowed to dig there. Uh, but what can you do? But I'd say my ploughing's looking pretty good. It always looks very nice coming out of grass if the plough's set up correctly. I'll show you now what we're dealing with. Look at that, beautiful, even, flat furs. And almost dead straight. You can just see a slight kink here and then down onto the flatter at the bottom. It's uh, kind of going straighter again, so I think I've done not too bad a job considering over that side I did start straight but because it went off a way I just had to do what I could uh, to get through it all just surface but as soon as this has been ripped over like that it'll dry out nicely it's just getting that initial layer of the pan off and once you do that you crack the soil and it'll drain better dry out the surface so this is just getting put back into barley and then a couple of years down the line we'll put it into grass again it's quite a long drain this one it's, it's wet right the way across here but I think this pipe was actually choked with gravel so obviously when it went in something wasn't sealed correctly and it's ended up filling up and uh, with it being so level there's not enough water flow to clean the pipe as it's going see it's almost dead straight a few wee twists and turns but none really worth talking about beautiful big field i really like it Just admire the the views of the day from up here. It's bra. Nice and sunny, beautiful day in Scotland. No many of them, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, eh, sorry about this. I forgot to mention it. <laughs> eh, thought I'd shave for a laugh, and eh, yeah, still here for the now. I might shave this bit and get eh, handlebars for the crack. Dad's not seen it yet, so I wonder what he'll think when he sees it. <laughs> Beautiful. So that field there is the one I'm going to next after I catch up with Dad. And I'll finish that one hopefully today. If I can get up and down the hill, might be 
wetter than I think, but I'm not sure yet. But after three dry days I think we've had, I'm hoping that I'll be able to pull through it no problem. Fairly champing on in here at 5.5 .5 mile an hour at the moment. When you do that, you kind of destroy the look of the furs, so that is down a gear. There it's turning over nicer, you can see the furs better. This end's drier. <laughs> Just going to grab some lunch quickly. Um, this is the reseed field from last year. It is looking very good. The grass is really greening up now, getting thicker, getting longer. This mean a uh, wee go with the tined grass harrows to rip up some of the stubble that is still there and uh, it's got a wee grass box on the top for the seeds so they likely well dad seems to be the only one allowed to use that as well uh, i'll need to learn at some point but uh, he'll go in and he'll stitch in some grass where it's a wee bit bald but overall this field has took the grass very very well and then the field next door is really greening up as well because of the slurry I had and fertilizer and whatnot. Everything's looking very good. The sun's coming out. The wet weather helps the grass grow. Fertilizer. There's some big stones from plowing before. <laughs> All right, looking good. Right, I'm back up at this hill. This is a stupid wee dog leg I was on about one of the other times. So, about to do my first run up here. It was getting a fair struggle the last time because it got so wet, it just rained and buggered it. So, this is getting towards the steepest part. The steepest part's just over there. Also, this is just all uphill. Uh, there was a question I actually asked about how to set up the headland management. So, I'll show you that the now. I hope the camera's in the right place. <clears throat> you rev the tractor up a wee bit, like that, you press, well, in this tractor it's this auto, uh, it's this one here, the auto, I don't know what the hell what they all mean, but this one here, press that, so that'll come up orange on the screen there, then you use this one, the up and down, and set it to the revs. So I set it about 1400. And then that means when you're turning, you just press that. You can also set it for the bottom minimum. You can move that to something else, you know, say if you're using other machines. But I just take it right off for this one. So just straight up, straight back doing the revs. So, I just need to see how this goes, I'm not sure how it's going to go. Let's get this auto diff on. Better speed up the drop speed, otherwise it'll drop in at the wrong moment. It could have been, try not to make a mess if you're plowing. Right. Drop it in. I love the look of fresh soil against dry soil. <laughs> oh, you see that fur pinging up there on our stone? just kind of goes like that here 
then you get over this now there and then you get to the next bit tractor's lying down here down a gear but I'm keeping the grip so that's fantastic news <laughs> can get it going now try gear 11 again beautiful I never touch the steering wheel when I'm plowing although I know it does help to keep it dead straight but as I've said before I'm not overly fussed I'll keep it reasonably straight but as long as it's level that's the main thing and as long as all the trash is buried I'm happy which as you can see the plough is doing a fantastic job of I think it was last year or the year before I've got the maze skimmer boards they made a massive difference to putting all the trash in under you can see the front fur there just skims it beautifully and throws it right into the bottom of the shuck uh, this bit's another awkward part of the field you know so <laughs> once I get in here it's just another case of stupid wee runs there just one right awkward bugger of a field there a wee peewee yeah, we're flying away there. There's another one. Two peewees. And of course the standard seagull has came to join us. Won't be long till the rest are here. Somebody has snapchatted me. I will not open that. It will probably be inappropriate. <laughs> so. I pressed up, can't have pressed it hard enough, but I take the revs off, press up, should have lifted better than that, and I just basically do it so I can turn just as I'm getting to the dike and then I'm not running over any of my ploughing it means you can turn faster and then reverse back and get a nice swing straight back into the last run not the best of examples this time but that's usually what I do <laughs> Very, very important to try and keep that top link pin running in the middle or at least just sitting in the slot so it runs freely and if it doesn't you're either going to dig too deep or too shallow and if it's still digging too deep or too shallow you need to adjust that top link and you can tell that the plough is set up right because that top link it's pulling straight with a tractor. If, it, if the plough's not, you'll find that the top link will either go this way or that way. And that's all down to the, the lean of the plough. So say it's leaning that way, it'll pull that way. And if it's pulling this way, so then that's all down to adjusting your turntable at the front there. I am pretty sure. A wee bit of curve there, but you can't really see it when you're driving down the hill here, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I am off a chuff that I'm able to get up and down this hill now. I can finish this field. Yes! Been waiting a wee while on this. <laughs> Just annoying. Wanted to, you know, it's so close to finishing, but still really awkward the main hold up towards the end is all the heat drag you know you got that over there down round up round the corner round over there 
up there, then you've seen the D there, then round all the way around there. So, that's the biggest hold up after this one. <laughs> but, aye, I'm really glad to be getting this field done, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, Dad doesn't take me away from it to go and do another job, but... <laughs> oh, the other jobs I need done as well. Just, I'm just really happy I'm able to get plowing again after all this terrible weather we've been having. <laughs> Of course, going downhill, catching a stone. Quite a big one actually this time. <clears throat> Ooh. Hopefully there's not too many like that. Right. Got the drone out. Always like bringing the drone out, it's great fun. Get to see if I'm actually doing a good job or not. You can see pretty good from in the cab but see when you look at it from above it actually changes the look of it completely there are we tough there from a, a stone, I think, it would be. This is a steep bit again. Just the now of that hill there, just completely gobs the tractor. Slow down a wee bit. Right, get the gear up again. <laughs> Actually, I can't be bored flying. Let's press this. Where is it? There we go. Subject scanning. Right, come on, recognize the tractor. There we go, I've got a plus on it. There we go, right. right follow me. so I can keep watching what I'm doing. The good thing about the drone is that it's actually scaring away all the seagulls. I hate seagulls. Eating all my worms. Hey, that's supposed to be following me. Oh, it's, it's on spotlight. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work. That's a bit better. Alright, it's lost me. It thinks that's the location now. There we go, a tractor. Looking good up here today, boys. And a big stone there. I really annoyed at myself for not expecting myself to hit a stone there. I was looking forward just going up there, and then the next thing, look back, and the front furs up in the air. Right, right annoying that. Really, really annoying. 
just looking back and seeing that just really pissed me off. Oh. Actually, it looks like it's straight from up there. Guarantee it's not. Plowing at 4.3 mile an hour in here. Seem to be able to plow faster in the grass. Uh, I don't know, it seems to throw it over better. And uh, when you're in the stubble, see that stone. I like plowing with the back window open. Sometimes you can hear it better. You can hear the problems. Starting to go down the steep hill. I wonder how well it will follow me. There's my mum out trying to catch some moles. I wonder if she's getting any. Let's go over and see her. That's so annoying. Right. Boy's looking pretty good at the moment. Right. She is over here. Checking a couple of traps here. See what she's got. She'll be looking at me. Just a minute. We're pretending she can't see me. Ah. Press the plus sign, so that'll mean it'll follow her. <laughs> that's just gonna annoy her, that's funny. She hates being on camera. Mum's quite good at catching moles. Uh, years ago, we bought all these barrel traps because uh, they were fed up with the moles, they were really bad and uh, we bought 50 barrel traps and set them all up in a way that they'd all go uh, made them extra sensitive and uh, the first year I think we caught 90 and then the second year we caught around 200 because well, after buying the first 50 traps we bought another 50 traps <laughs> because we realised how well it was working, so it was worth it. So she's quite good at catching the moles now, go. Right, that's enough of annoying her. <laughs> Hope you can see how much of a hill it is from there. Stone nearly. Don't crash the drone, you Egypt.
Hey, that's not what I'm looking at. Right. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to finish it up here. finish up today's video here because well the video is already going to be quite long as it is um, hope you all have enjoyed uh, me talking uh, rubbish <laughs> well talking to the best of my knowledge um, other folk will know better than me but I'm just a man on YouTube talking his knowledge so hope you've enjoyed uh, I'll put some drone footage up at the end here with some music and then uh, there'll be some nighttime drone footage from last night that I'll put up with some music as well. So I hope you all enjoy and like, subscribe, whatever. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>